اهلا بحضراتكم من جديد يعني الفتره اللي جايه او الشهور اللي جايه سواء شهر فبراير او شهر مارس هيكون فيها احداث كبيره جدا لكن قبل ما نروح هتكلم معاكم شويه عن ابرز المواجهات هنروح الى ايطاليا مع ايمانويل جوليانيلي الصحفي بجريده كوريري ديلا سيرا علشان نتكلم معاه على اخر الاخبار اللي موجوده في الكره الايطاليه مستر ايمانويل ويلكم تو الاهلي تي في هلو هلو ثانك يو ايفريثينج از جود Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I want to ask, to ask you about uh, the reactions of the Italian newspapers after the great defeat of Roma against Fiorentina, 7-1 in the Italian Cup. That's been really, really disappointing because uh, because it has been a very huge, very huge defeat. So uh, no, no one expected, of course, a defeat like this for Roma because. Roma, uh, was, I mean, at the starting of the season, they were one of the team's favorites to, to reach one of the, the four places for the Champions League. And every Roma supporter um, thought that Roma could have done a really good, good season. And they, they wanted to, to do well even in Coppa Italia because it's been a long time that Roma don't win, don't win the Coppa Italia. But this defeat, I think that um, can mean that Roma is living a very hard period. I think that they are living the sort of crisis. And I think that Giuseppe Di Francesco is really risking to, to be fired. I think that the match against Milan will be crucial for him, mm. To, mm. For, for his future, for the future, and then for his future in the club. I will translate to the audience and I'll be back to you with the second question. في البداية سألته على رد فعل الصحافة الإيطالية على خسارة فريق روما من فيورنتينا بسبع أهداف مقابل هدف في الكاس الإيطالية. اللي طبعا كل الصحافة مستغربة من النتيجة الكبيرة اللي خسر بيها فريق روما بالرغم من إنه بيأدي بشكل مش بطال في بطولة الدوري وبالتالي المباراة القادمة أمام إسي ميلان. اللي هتبقى ما بين روما وميلان هي نقطة فاصلة في بقاء أو إقالة دي فرانشيسكو المدير الفني الحالي لنادي روما الإيطالي. مستر إيمانويل، I want to ask you about the interest of the Italian clubs for the Egyptian players رمضان صبحي and تريزيجي and النني. Is it true or is it is just rumors? Of the newspapers and the websites in Italy. In it, uh, I think that this, this news, I think, are, are mainly reported by Egyptian newspaper, and even I read something on English newspapers. But in Italy, there are not so many reports about the interest in this in this players. I mean, the, the only one that I really think was was. Um, mm, Was reported by Italian media was interest for uh, for El Neni by by S Roma and even from Lazio. I think that that could have been a sort a sort of derby, <laughs> a Roma derby for for this player. Yes. But as you know, in January, nobody, none of none of them did, did this uh, did this deal. So I think that all will be postponed in in next June. But um, I think that Roma. Could be favorite because they have very good relationship with uh, with, with Egyptian agents, especially uh, since the time when they, when they took uh, Mohamed Salah. So I think that Roma could be a very good destination for him. سألت وقلت لك في أخبار بيتم تناولها في الصحافة الإيطالية ليها علاقة ب. التعاقد انديه ايطاليه مع لعيبه مصريه زي رمضان صبحي وتريزيجي او محمد النني قال لي انا يعني ما قريتش في صحف ايطاليه حاجه بتثبت هذا الكلام ممكن الحاجه الوحيده اللي ممكن يكون صح وهو روما انها ممكن تتعاقد مع لعيبه مصريه بس مش الفتره الحاليه الفتره اللي جايه علشان بيربط روما علاقه جيده منذ وجود محمد صلاح مع الفريق كلنا كنا سمعنا عن محمد النني واعاره اخيره لنادي روما لكن كل حاجه انتهت في لحظه ومحمد النني باقي ايضا مع فريق ارسنال Uh, Mr. Emmanuel, I want to ask you about Antonio Conte's future. He's watching now a lot of games in, uh, in Calcio and Serie A, and he's waiting uh, for, for, for to be hiring 
in any club the next period. We heard about Inter Milan that uh, 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 he will be near and close to be the head coach of Inter Milan the coming period. Is it, is it true also or it's rumors? I think that is partially true. I mean, mm. Antonio Conte has decided to stop for this season. Yes. He, 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 didn't, he, didn't, accept, he didn't accept any offer, even if some clubs still uh, have been interested in him. For example, AC Milan would have, would have taken him uh, to replace Gattuso, but they decided, in fact, they decided to, to keep Gattuso because Antonio Conte refused to come uh, in the team during the season. The next year, you want the club to start the season mm. because you don't want to take the uh, club on the run. Mm. And yes, I, I can say that uh, the target number one of uh, Inter Milan mm. would be Antonio Conte for sure because the relationship with Spalletti mm. is going very bad, as, mm. as, a, as you can see from the last match against Torino, mm. from the, uh, the, the elimination in, in the Coppa uh, in the Coppa Italia. Mm. So, the new, the new management of Inter, the Chinese, the Chinese ownership, has decided to uh, to bet very high on a on a coach that is so important, like Antonio Conte, to try next year mm. to win the Scudetto. I asked you about how Antonio Conte, after he finished the process, he will see the matches in the Italian Cup in a big way. In the last few years, he will be possible to be present in one of the matches for the development of one of the big players in the last few years. He said that this is true, but Antonio Conte is close to the Inter of Milan, despite the bad relationship with the Spalletti, which is very bad in the management of the board, and after the results of the bad results. اللي بيؤديها مع نادي الايطالي كونتي هو احد الاسماء المرشحه بقوه لكن كونتي بيرفض ان هو يكون موجود من نص الموسم وبيفضل ان هو يبدا الموسم